muscles. Duck! On a sneeze! This program is brought to you by The Growler Tapes Audio Adventures. You are listening to Growler Radio! Yikes! Shh, I hope that didn't wake anyone. What are you making? I'm having toast. What about you? Thought I'd have cereal with honey. Uh-oh, looks like there's mud on the counter. Guess I better clean it. Somebody messed up the utensils. All the teaspoons are gone, and the tablespoons are mixed in with the forks. Rue, doesn't this mud look like tiny footprints? Very funny, ZB. Mom was probably potting some plants. Have you seen the bread knives? They're all missing. Oh man, we're out of honey. Better put it on the list, CB. Where's the pencil? There's usually one in the jar by the list. Hey, what's this? Wow, this is cool. There are no pencils. Looks like a small writing instrument. Yep, it writes. It has teeny little buttons. Here, write honey on the list. Cool pen, it's so tiny. Honey. It wrote something else. The delicious sweetener created by bees. But I didn't write that. I'm trying this again. A naturally occurring sugar. The result of entomological food processing in the hives of bees. Very cool. Let me try it, ZB. Here, what are you writing? We also need yogurt. I'm adding it to the list. You wrote cultured milk product. Wow, I didn't notice this before, but the three buttons have labels. I can barely make them out. Define, normal, and message. I bet it's set on define. It's been writing definitions. You're right. Let's see what message does. Whoa, it started writing by itself. Awesome. Growler Fred's mission went very badly. Professor Sniffs is still being held. Please send trained reinforcements with knowledge and equipment. Signed, Grandpa Hoo Hoo, Operations Commander. This looks like a plea for help. Who is Grandpa Hoo Hoo? Hey, you little ones, don't play. Someone's in our yard. Come on! Out back, closer to the woods. I don't see anyone. What took you so long? A little old guy. I am not little, and I am not old. I'm Grandpa Hoo-Hoo. Didn't they tell you who's in charge? Hi, Grandpa Hoo-Hoo. I'm ZB. This is Rue. Did you bring any tools or any information? Are you the one who wrote a message with this little pen thing? You mean the clarify? Of course I wrote that message. That's why they sent you here. We've got to hurry. Professor Sniffs is being held against his will in the Forbidden Zone. What are you talking about, Grandpa Hoo Hoo? They didn't brief you? Never mind. Just come along. Where are we going? You go straight. Straight ahead, down this path, you'll come upon 
a burned down house at the edge of the forbidden zone. Professor Sniffs cultivates botanic life forms out there for their DNA. You'll see him, poor soul, stuck on an encrusted tree right beside the path. You can't miss him. Do what you can. Hurry. If I were younger, I'd be going with you. What are we supposed to be doing? Whatever you were trained to do to free Professor Sniff. But we don't know what you're... Nobody knows. That's what you have to figure out. Get going. We'll see what we can do. Good luck. Come on, ZB. Someone needs help. Be careful. Wait up! I don't think I've ever been in this part of our world. Someone's over there! Come on! It's my fault! Uh oh. I'm Papa Hoo Hoo, and here now, the news. There are reports of an incident involving an encrusted plant at the boundary of the Forbidden Zone. Sources tell us that a prominent scientist involved in recombinant encrusted DNA experimentation suffered an unknown accident near one of his orchards. He is said to be in good shape, although he is being held against his will. The Huhu Authority has mobilized its crisis center and appears to be involved in some form of intervention. More coming up on Growler Radio. And I think Professor Snips has flipped out. It's just someone on the phone. Come on, Rue. Right? Keep your and eye out for whoever that is. On about getting another there he is! Whoa! He He's huge! Think that's Professor Sniffs? He doesn't look like he needs help. Let's just sneak by him. He's looking the other way. It grabbed all our tools and almost got me. We've got to destroy that plant and keep it from reproducing before it takes anyone else. Wait a second. My monitors are picking up two kids nearby. He's on to us, ZB. You two. Run into the tall grass. Red commands you to halt. This is a restricted area. Need it. He'll never find us here. Okay. So you got away. Go that way and you'll end up in the Forbidden Zone. Come this way, and you Come on, Rue. Let's sneak out of this tall grass and get back onto the path. I, guess I never I heard of the Forbidden Zone. Up. Sounds Isn't sort of scary. This Where's is the path? The A little farther over. Here's a clearing, but no path. We're lost. There's something very strange over there. It looks like a huge scarecrow of Growler Fred. There's another down that way, and another way over there. What are they doing here? Who made them? Think there are giant crows? Rue, an orchard of weird trees. There's a sign over there that's bent over and stuck to one of the trees. Rowlerville's first sneeze orchard. Danger, keep away. Then these are sneeze trees. They're unreal. They look like giant cucumber halves 
with one black or one white flower on top. Never saw these before. They're planted in alternating rows of black and white flowers. Hey, the ones with the black flower have things stuck on them. Very strange. This one has paper clips and washers. Metal. Here's one with bottle caps and a soup can stuck to it. There's a spoon. That's our spoon. I'm taking it back. Wait a second, DB. Don't touch it. Maybe that's how Professor Sniffs got stuck. Oh, right. Some of the white flowers make pixie dust and then wilt it. Cool, shiny metallic clouds. Each drifting towards the nearest black flower. The black flower sucked up the pixie dust. Our spoon fell off. Now I'm definitely taking it. The black flowers wilted, and then the trees grew fruit in just a few seconds. Nothing grows that fast. But we just watched it happen. The fruits smell delicious. Let's get going, Room. We've got to find Professor Sniffs. I say this way. ZB, notice how there's no grass or trees over there? Looks sort of like a desert. Maybe it's the Forbidden Zone. Come on, let's find that path. Another scarecrow of Fred! Yikes! Let's get out of here! I don't blame you. The show that lets you complain anonymously. Are you ready for today's complaint? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's great to have a way to keep those of us who happen to wander around a lot from stumbling into the Forbidden Zone. I want to help keep everyone out of there. I even gave permission as part of my contract to use my likeness to make those scarecrows, and they work great, but, well, how would you like to look at a scarecrow and recognize yourself? Scary thought, isn't it? Good one! <laughs> I am, of course, Uncle Hoo Hoo! And I don't blame you! Rue. Look! A burned down house! The path and Professor Sniffs must be around here somewhere. Here's the path. Over here, Rue! A black flowered sneeze tree with lots of utensils stuck on it. Someone's on the other side. Professor Sniffs, is that you? Yes! He's stuck like the There's butter no knife. problem here. Keep back for your own safety. You okay? I'm okay. How did all of our utensils end up stuck here with him? And what about those giant pliers and screwdrivers? There's even a baby carrying. Professor Snips, can we help you? No, no, I'm okay. You're okay? I'm okay. We were told you needed help. Really? I'm okay. Would you like it if we could get you unstuck? Of course. But how? Can we pull you off? No, no. Stay away. Don't touch me. Look back. I can't move. understand you very well, Professor Sniff. Well, then use the flower fly. He's pointing the to that pen thing you found. Fly. In your pocket, Roo. <laughs> oh, this? Set it to what? normal. Set it to normal. Push normal, normal Rue. Got it. The pen jumped out of my hand. It's getting ready to write. Bye. And Professor. It's writing what he's saying. Cool. 
I am Professor QB Snip. Glad to meet both of you, ZB Andrew. Sorry you can't understand me easily, but this should help. Please stand back so you don't get stuck too. What happened to Professor Snip? It's a long story. I do research on encrusted botany. This tree is a female sneeze. I got a little too close to it. It's an encrusted plant. This one's ready to receive pollen from the male of the species. That's why it has such a strong attractive force. Like a magnet. What's a magnet? A strong magnet will attract and hold iron objects. Just like this plant. Never heard of that kind of encrusted material. But this tree attracts more than just iron. All kinds of metals, including those in your body, can get stuck here until pollination occurs. So keep back. Fortunately, the tree will lose its attractive power once it receives the pollen that it's waiting for. So what now? I need a male plant. I need a male plant or the pollen. We saw the pollination process. We were just in an orchard of these trees. That was my orchard. That was my orchard. I raised them through both their encrusted DNA and their fruit, which is delicious. Try some on your way back. What if we brought you the white flower of the male plant? That's a brilliant idea. Look for one that's fat. The orchard starts right over there. Keep your distance from any tree with a black flower. Don't worry, we'll be careful. Come on, Rue! What is that sound? The Hoo-Hoo Authority put up scarecrows. The Hoo-Hoo we'll Authority put up scarecrows to keep growlers from wandering out into the Forbidden Zone, where they often become victims of magic. That's Growler Fred being frightened by a scarecrow as he accidentally wandered too close to the Forbidden Zone. It's quite an annoyance. But it's better than always having to rescue him from out there. Come on, ZB. Let's go get a white flower. Amazing. Who grew that? Harsh conditions elsewhere can be used to create better crops here. The Forbidden Zone is a dangerous place, full of unknown encrusted life forms and substrata. The encrusted forms which have evolved there are hardier than most, for they have had to adapt to outrageous changes. Take, for example, the recently cultivated sneeze, which has undergone a remarkable metabolic transformation, taking only moments to go from pollination to the bearing of fruit. Hoo-hoo geneticists are conducting experiments combining encrusted DNA from the sneeze with that of common fruit trees in an effort to vastly speed the growth process. As a result of their efforts, they expect to soon have trees that will bear fruit moments after planting the seed. And that's an amazing hoo-hoo fact. Sounds like Fred is having a hard time. Let's just get a flower and get out of here. There aren't any left. There's one behind you. And it's a real fat white one. Got it. A lot of the females now have fruit. Want to taste? Smells yummy. 
Sure. Professor Sniff says they taste great. Mmm, delicioso. Incredibly yummy. Mmm. The flower you picked released its pollen all over us. Choo! 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 I can't stop! Choo! 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 Whew, finally. That's why it's called sneeze. Uh-oh, there aren't any more white flowers. There must be one somewhere. Look everywhere. They're all wilted. See any room? None. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, phew. Found one. Let's get back to Professor Sniffs before it releases its pixie dust. Hey, who's over there? It's Fred. Run, Ru. I said who. There's that? nowhere to hide! We've got to distract him! You two! Gotcha this time! Fred! Watch out for the scarecrows! Scarecrows? Oh no! Where? Scarecrows! Go, Ru, go! I'm running! In a second! What scarecrows? I don't see. Here's the burned down house! This way! Wait up! <laughs> Professor Sniffs! Look! CB grew a ripe white flower. Perfect. Come over here. That flower will momentarily release its pollen. And me at the same time. Here you go. Uh-oh! I'm getting pulled towards the sneeze! CB grab my Got hand! You. You have on a magnet. Don't worry. No problem. The flower. Aha! Thought you two could escape with a cheap scarecrow trick, eh? Eat that, Fred. Stay hey, away. I recognize that white flower. Are you trying to make more of these dangerous plants? I'm taking that flower and destroying it before any more of this bad magic happens. No, don't Hand it do over. No, Fred, it's the only Someone one left. Someone could get hurt. Stop, that flower can no help us. No more bad plants from this flower. Oh, no. He snapped the flower. Hey, the plant is pulling me. Oh, it has me. Oh, no. We are stuck, Ru. Now what? CB, oh. we can't go home. What about me? What about me? CB, Ru. We're going shopping. Still in bed? I thought you were going to get up early and make your own breakfast <sighs> this morning. Hi, guys. Hi, Mom. <laughs> morning, Dad. Morning. How did this wilted white flower get in here? Ha-choo! Ha-choo! ha Mom, sounds like you're stuck on a sneeze. Huh? with your everyday magic. Woohoo! Safety first. I know you've heard me say that before, but it's worth repeating over and over. We here at the Magic Helpline cannot stress enough the importance of safety in everyday magic. Woohoo! We all know that the Forbidden Zone is a dangerous place where magic forces play out to their uncomfortable 
uncontrollable consequences. Thanks to the courage of those who study these forces, progress is being made on many fronts. This product, for example, as you can see, it's a large, clear bubble of sugar on a stick, like a hollow lollipop. But the sphere contains the pollen from a white sneeze flower. See it in there? Shiny and sparkly. The device is called a sneeze ease. And anyone who ventures near the forbidden zone is encouraged to have one. Invented by Professor QB Sniffs, this new safety product will help you avoid getting accidentally stuck on a sneeze. Watch this. Hoo -hoo. The moment I get close to this sneeze, see that? The pollen in the bubble is attracted to the black flower. And the pollen concentrates on one side. You can see where the sneeze is by looking at the sneeze. Ease. Today, for the first time anywhere, I will purposely get myself stuck on a sneeze right here on my show. Watch as I approach the tree. Notice how the pollen in the locator piles up on the side where the tree is. Now, as I... There it is! I'm stuck! Hoo-hoo! I'm being held by my right hand! And I... Uh, can't get away! Normally this would be a disaster. But watch! I simply break the sugar bubble on the tree. The pollen doesn't stop. And voila! Not stuck anymore! You saw it here on Mother Fubu's Magic Outline. <laughs> Till next time, I'll be back. <laughs> Anyone want any sweet Some of my new sneeze trees. They're my favorite plants. I've really become attached to them. What about the knock knock jokes? Sorry. What about the knock knock jokes? You ready, Sammy? I'm ready. Knock knock. Who's there? Botany. Botany? Oh, botany good jelly beans lately. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Deny. Deny? Who? The night is when the stars shine. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all for now. I am, of course, all got a hoo hoo. All right. One more. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Sammy. Hey, that's me. Sammy? Who? Sammy or you who keeps saying more. <laughs> This program was brought to you by a grant from The Growler Tapes Audio Adventures. You are listening to Growler Radio.